Welcome back, you guys. Listen, Viral the Virtual of the Bricks, and we are talking today about five things every digital marketer needs for their business. I'm talking about if you are getting into the money, and I'm going to make this beginner friendly too, so we may go at even beyond five, and I just list them as bonuses. But the number one thing that you need when you want to get into digital marketing is you need a quality product. You need a quality product. A lot of people have more than one. I want to tell you a secret. The more products that you have, the um, harder sometimes it is for people to know what they're coming to buy from you. Now, I don't want people to get to where they're like, um, so you're telling me I only need to have one product. Uh, yeah, or you need to have a bundle. You need to have fewer of the products. Um, some people, it's going to work for you to have multiple of them, but you want to have essentially one really good quality product that fits you. And that may not be a MRR, PLR version of that product. Um, by the time you're watching this, this may be where we're in the era of you having your own ebook guide, um, coloring book. Um, those are just three of the top things that are easy to make for digital product creators to make for you if you are a digital marketer. So number one, you got to have a quality product. I like to think that you need a branded product because brands are big right now when it comes down to um, digital marketing. Brands are really, 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 really huge. I'm talking about huge. So you even got like my brand, BPU. So it makes it a little easier for you to sell because people have heard of the product. Um, but also you want to be doing the number two thing. Listen, the second thing every digital marketer needs in their business is a brand. You need to be branded from your it name to your content, even to what you call your people during your um, emails. What, what, what do you call them? What, who are these people to you? And what do you bring? Why do they relate? Why do they buy from you? And what happens after they buy? You want to be expanding beyond just, hey, buy this digital product for me. Hey, I just do digital marketing. In the era of creating a workforce, which I mentioned in one of my previous videos, of course, yeah, you're a digital marketer, but you're a digital marketer that do what? You're a digital marketer for who? And I want you guys to get in a place where you're able to do the number three thing that every digital marketer needs. The number three thing that every digital marketer needs is a geo territory. Geo territory is essentially a location. Um, if you're going to be taking advantage of local marketing, you want to make sure that you can um, be known for what area it is that you are in. You get what I'm saying? Are you in that? Are you a digital marketer in Atlanta? Are you a digital marketer in Miami, Dallas, Houston? Because if you're around me or you're in my program, you're seeing that you're being trained to do content in digital marketing for. Um, local businesses because they don't have the time to do it, but that's a big bag for you when going local. You ain't got to be online, sharing your screenshots, over hustling. You can have that side too because there's major revenue that you can be making from that. But once again, I am being the leader of the next stage and next phase of you being able to do this for established businesses. So that's the number three thing you need is a geo. What areas do you serve? And if you take in my threads course, you already know that this is really big on threads by being geo and essentially, like I say, having a location. The number four thing that you need as a digital marketer is your official paperwork. After you start making money, you want to make sure that you have your business set up. Of course, if you're making at a certain point of revenue, you want to be an S Corp. A lot of people are going to go and be an LLC, which is fine. You also got sole prop, which is fine. It's not so much as the structure, but you want to be making sure that you got your structure, that you're paying your taxes, and that you got tax write-offs. You get what I'm saying? You want to make sure that you have tax write-offs, tax write-offs, and you want to make sure you're also getting grants. You also want to have a game plan. So a lot of people will stop at the level of hustle of this. But what is your five year plan? What is your five year plan so that you can make sure that you're submitting at the grants? If you want to embed this into another business, um, you don't have to call the business a marketing business. You can call this business an education business. You can call this business a um, different type of services that you have. Even if you don't do those services yet, the government does not care necessarily what services you do. They do care about what is structured and what it says via the law. You get what I'm saying? So the thing that no one's talking about that you get to hear exclusively from me is that what are you going to turn this into later? What are you going to shift this into? You can create the S Corp for that business and be able to um, 
be able to do that because there are laws against network marketing businesses. There are laws against even marketing businesses. There are laws against consulting businesses. There are laws against credit consulting businesses. So you want to make sure that you are labeled in your business the right way, that you got all your structure, all your paperwork, and you want to be really tapped in into an accountant that um, is essentially a creator. The reason why is you will be able to get a lot of updates on the market and you won't do nothing crazy that's going to get you in the feds. Federal Fed, you get what I'm saying? Then you go be selling digital marketing from behind bars. You get what I'm saying? How to get, how to get out and get on probation in 30 days is what your digital product go be if you mess around and get into the wrong stuff. You hear me? So listen, that's not what we want. So the, for, that's why the fourth thing is you want to make sure that you got all your paperwork straight. Get your paperwork lined up because that's going to be a way that you can get into more doors. And when this thing shift, you'll be there. You get what I'm saying? The fifth thing that every digital marketer needs, you need a coach and community, the two combined. If you got a coach that ain't got the community, that's the wrong coach because they going to run out of gas. If you got a community that ain't got a coach or coaches in it, you're in the wrong community because guess what? They are there to get money and you go be a help and a tool to get money. I don't care what you say. I trust the person that it is their job to help people. You get what I'm saying? You don't got to trust me. Some, sometimes people be talking about something that I don't know if I trust him, though. I, I, I like how he do things, but I don't know if I trust him. Baby, you ain't got to trust me. It's my job to help you. Do you understand? A -O -A -A, listen, J-O-B. So I got to help you once you pay, you know, regardless whether I like you or whatever. Get out your feelings. All of y'all need to be with somebody. Something that's going to be coming soon is exclusive sellers. Even I'm going to do it. I'm going to have benefits and lower tier prices, bundle benefits for people that just sell exclusively BPU. Why? Because I'm thinking like a company. If you are a seller for me, what is going to make you be with me more than everybody else? The benefits. Just like when we go to a job, it's about the benefits. What do you get for being there this long? What do you get for being there that long? What do you get for going over here? What do you get for going over there? So everybody needs to be in a place where you can essentially be protected because in the beginning of this business, the dogs is out. You get what I'm saying? You got a lot of people. What Mo3 said, everybody ain't your friend. Everybody ain't your partner. You get what I'm saying? So you got to understand when you're around a lot of people that's just in it for the money, when you're around the creation of the, um, the market, you can get lost in that. So you want to make sure you are attached and around some people that are invested in the business. Business means protection. Legality of business means protection. When you just out here on the street hustling, you ain't no different than a drug dealer. You get what I'm saying? And you may have a corner that somebody wants. But when you protect it, when you are, um, you're able to be protected against the changes that come in the market. You're able to be protected in um, loss of clientele. You get what I'm saying? So there's a lot of things in that. So those are five things that I believe every digital marketer should have, um, especially if they want to make a future in this, if they want to use this money to fund other businesses. There's a pathway and there are secrets to this too. So that's why you want to be inside of the BPU membership. That's why you want to be inside somewhere of the Beat Life and Code infrastructure. And um, if you're seeing this around the time we have our conference and events, you can find me everywhere on our platforms at CEO Coach Matt. Find where I am in the country. And listen, we can do this thing face to face. Beat Life, baby. Don't let life beat you.